This next one is where Keith used to work, uh, and this is actually on Thompson. Watch this. With its uniquely British product, small, intimate ships, a great range of cruise and stay options, all tips included, an unrivaled number of regional airports you can fly from, plus a generous baggage allowance, it's little wonder that Thompson Cruises is turning heads. They boast one of the highest levels of repeat passengers in the industry, and after six years working for them, I can tell you why. They are without doubt the friendliest ships afloat. Some friends of mine who cruise a lot always pack two sizes of clothing. One for the start of the cruise, thank you, and one for the end. And once you've tasted the food on board, you'll understand why. It's international cuisine with a British twist. And with open sitting as standard, you won't need to rush trying to keep to the ship schedule. You can set the pace and enjoy up to seven meals a day. Trust me, it's possible. Whether it's a freshly pulled pint in a nightclub or sipping a cocktail of the day poolside, each of the bars on board Thompson Ships enjoys a unique and special personality. With honest low prices, juggling waiters and service with a smile, you're never more than two minutes walk away from a refreshing aparity. The Thompson Cruises has some of the best entertainment afloat. In a two-week cruise, you'll see no fewer than ten full production shows and some great comedy from award-winning UK guest artists. Add to that fantastic interactive game shows, cabarets, and all singing, all dancing deck parties, and you really won't want to go back to your cabin. There is lots and lots of choice with the accommodation on board Thompson ships, from insides through to stunning suites. All are on suite, offer 24 hour room service, and two turn downs a day. The only surprise you're going to encounter is what your hand towel will be transformed into when you return every night. My favourite was always the monkey with the sunglasses. Great thing about this trip is actually seven day cruise and then seven days in a hotel. Yeah, and the hotel bit's all inclusive, Paul, which is all really, it, really rare. Even booze? Yeah, even even the booze. Absolutely. That's amazing. Uh, it's a really, really good opportunity at this. And of course, a lot of our viewers love cruising with Thompson because they're really, really they're family friendly, they're couple friendly, great entertainment, really relaxed atmosphere. And as, let's face it, after this itinerary, because we've got a great itinerary lined up for you, you might want a week in a hotel just to chill out Absolutely. and really relax before you go home. Come on, let's have a look at where we're going. Okay, so uh, you're heading out from the island of Corfu, yeah. uh, and you've got a great chance to relax at sea there, enjoying the ship, getting lots of sun, because uh, you're sailing around the Mediterranean, and then you're heading over to Trapani, and this is the eternal meeting point between East and West, between Africa and Europe. Mm. It's Sicily, of course. The beautiful Sicily, you can follow in the footsteps of the Godfather, go and see Marlon Brando, and, uh, and, and some of the wonderful places where, where they filmed that great series of films. And you can also head up to the mountaintop city of Aris, uh, and get some amazing views like this over the whole of Sicily. If you get a chance, I would recommend trying the famous Sicilian olive oil ice cream. Okay, then you're going through is to... It, is it any good? It's really gorgeous. You wouldn't really? think it, but it's no, really nice. It? Yeah, olive oil gelato. Really gorgeous. Okay, next is the port, is, is Civitavecchia. Now, this is the port for Rome. It's a couple of hours in to see the Eternal City, but boy, is it worth it. It's a city of fountains, a city of icon iconic buildings, such as the Vatican, uh, with the Sistine Chapel. Go and say hello, of course, to the Pope. Wander uh, <laughs> through the the Roman Forum, uh, you know, in the footsteps of people like Julius Caesar, stand in the mighty Colosseum, imagine the gladiators fighting for their lives around you and the crowd booing and thumb up, thumb down, what was it going to be? And of course the Spanish Steps, if you climb them, it gives you an amazing view over the whole of the city. The other great thing to do is the Da Vinci Trail, uh, after the book and then the film, you can do that and that ends up in Piazza Navono, great place to get an ice cream, watch the world go past. Then we're going through to Naples. This is Italy's most red-blooded city. It's one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. And it's great. The whole city centre is like a museum. Uh, and you can wander through and the buildings almost lean in. And you've got these wrought iron balconies with these ladies hanging their washing out. But when you head out, there's so much to do. You've got Pompeii and Herculaneum, if you like your history. You've got the island of Capri, if you like your jet-set paradise. You've got the Amalfi Coast with the lemon blossom and the orange blossom yeah. to explore. But Naples itself, I love. Try the coffee, try the pizza, because it's the birthplace of pizza and go to the museum there. It's got all the artefacts from Pompeii and Herculaneum. Then Lapari, this is the largest of the Italian Alioni Islands. Rocky crags, volcanic hills, a pebbled shoreline, and a great little harbour with plenty of seafood restaurants and laid-back bars where you can just sit down, chill out, and do nothing at all. Then we're going through to Cotoni. This is Italy. It's right on the ball of Italy's foot. It was once one of the most powerful cities in the classical world. Uh, it had a very famous school of medicine. These days, it's famous for its wine. And in fact, this is the same wine that used to be given to the Olympic champions after the Games. Wow. So go out and do a wine tour is my advice here. 
Then we're going uh, back to Corfu, and this is where you disembark, and you have seven nights in a great hotel. And it's a 4T hotel, uh, and that means that that's Thompson's own grading system, which kind of relates to about four stars, yeah. and it's your chance to relax. Remember, it's all inclusive, so you, you know, as you get to enjoy Corf uh, Corfu, everything's included at this part of the holiday, and Corfu itself is a stunning place. The, the, the best balance here is go, 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 go when you're on that cruise. Get out there, go see Rome. You make sure you see it. And be exhausted by the end of those seven days because you know you've got a whole week off to chill out and enjoy. Let's go through what you get for your money. This is an amazing deal. It works out less than £60 Incredible. per person tonight. We've got loads of dates available for you in October. Your return flights, look at this. You can always call the team anyway and ask them about alternative flights. But we've got flights here from Gatwick, Luton, Bristol, Exeter and even Norwich. And it just depends on your departure date. So again, talk to the team. They'll organise that for you. Seven nights on board Thompson's Cruise, that's the Thompson Majesty, plus all your overseas transfers, but then you've got your seven nights in the hotel, and that is all inclusive. That's the beauty of it. Let's go through the uh, prices for you so you can see just how affordable this is. Bear in mind, this is 14 nights. It's seven plus seven. And, of course, when you're on the ship as well, you've got all your entertainment included, oh. all your food is included. It is tremendous value for money. So from not, well, from £839, if you go in October 16th, it's so, so affordable. Let me just remind you of where you can get the flights from because there are so many local uh, airports available. Call the team, talk to them. 0800, it's free to call. They're all experts. That's so important to get across. They are all experts. 0800 840 1088 and there are no obligations to buy. I'm confident you're going to find one of your local airports mm. listed there. But of course we've got oh, all tips and service charges are included in that as well. Aren't they, they are. That's, that's the same always with, with, with Thompson. 